What is up? What's going on? What is up, you replay viewer? I want you to write hashtag replay so that I know that you're watching the replay. And comment below, obviously, with any and all questions, questiones that you got. Um, super excited. It's Monday, y'all. It's Monday. And um, so I, when I worked for, I worked for a startup. What is up, Andrea? Andrea. Good to see you, girl. Uh, I worked for a startup when I was, I was working like 70 hour work weeks. And one of the things that we talked about though, when I first got started, the company was like, thank God it's Monday. Um, because we did, we had this like attitude of just like, I love this work. Like again, it was 70 hour work week. So it was, it was crazy. What's up, Ryan? Good to see you, man. While it was intense stuff and we were doing a lot, what's up, Esther? While we were doing a lot of work, what's up, Brandon? Um, we really loved Mondays because we loved the work. Like we were doing work that we loved. So it was awesome. In the end, I ended up getting really burnt out um, at, the, at that particular job when I first started, and that's why I do the work that I do now. So um, I love it, Brandon. Sup, buddy? That's great, man. So guys, I'm going to be talking today about how to get more space and time in your day. And I'm really excited about this because here's the thing. So the... What's up, Olivia? Good to see you, girl. So as all of you know, I am creating... Uh, I shouldn't even say I'm creating. I'm working with a incredible group of individuals that I call Creative Warriors. And it's called the Creative Warrior Collective. And it's going to be beginning on July 2nd is when we get rocking and rolling. And it is a group of individuals, uh, high-performing individuals, driven solopreneurs that are looking to maximize their energy and their time. So Let's talk about that, right? Like, so maximizing their energy and their time so that they can scale their impact and their income. So that's the whole purpose of my work. I help people perform unconsciously, like unconsciously being high performers, right? Because I think the big, the grindy suckiness of like, oh, I'm just going to hustle and I'm going I'm to get through it doesn't work, y'all. It's not sustainable, right? So I help people create sustainable high performance. And so that's what I'm super excited about with the Creative Warrior Collective to get rock and roll in July 2nd. So it's a quick plug, but essentially this is what I help them do is create more time and space in their day using their particular blueprint. So how you are built, right? We all have a design and the way that we're built. What's up, Hannah Stenson? Good to see you. We all have a design in how we're built. So guys, I am so happy. Um, I love it. Esther, thank you. This is totally making my day a long but blessed day. What's up, Mary? Good to see you. So what, Katie Kanowski. I love it. So guys, what I want you to do is go ahead and type below where you're coming in from. Because first off, I want to make sure you guys can actually hear me. Because I just realized at this point, you may not even be able to hear me. And I may just be speaking out into the ether. So comment below where you're coming in from to know that you actually, to I, so that I know that you can hear what I'm saying. Making sure that the audio is still working for you. So guys, there's a very simple principle that I teach, Katie, Sacramento, California. Sacramento Kings. That's about all I know about Sacramento, unfortunately. Um, but so, so guys, I'm going to be talking today about two things, right? There is two things that make up the universe. And this is going to get very meta at first, and then we're going to kind of bring it in to how this actually applies to you, right? But we need to kind of understand the landscape before we can really go in and be efficient and effective and get more time and space out of our days, right? Because we all work really long days, and the question is, because here's the thing, guys, we all have 24 hours, right? Like, I'm not going to say that you don't, right? Like, hey, actually, I have 36 hours, and that's why I do more stuff than you. <laughs> because that's not true, right? I, I only have 24 hours as much as you have 24 hours, as much as Oprah has 24 hours, as much as Michael Jordan, Beethoven, Mozart had 24 hours, right? We all have 24 hours. So... What's cool about that is like, how do I have more certainty, more clarity, and more happiness in those hours? That's like, that's the question I'm always asking, right? And because we have the same amount of hours, the question is about how you're using those hours. How are you most effectively using those hours? So here's the cool thing, guys. This is so freaking fascinating, is that one hour of focused time, it's called deep work. One hour of deep work is the equivalent of three Count them three unfocused hours. 
I just had a great call with Katie earlier, and we were talking about for Katie, and again, this is how Katie's blueprint works. Katie is part of the Creative Warrior Collective. And one of the things that we know about Katie is that she, what's up, Mark? Good to see you, man. Oh, I love that you're on, Mark. What's up, Ramona? Good to see you. So one of the things that we know about Katie, and again, she's part of the Creative Warrior Collective, is that the way that her makeup is, now I'll dive into this more for people that are part of it, is she is made to work in short bursts to really be able to give it her all and then take long periods of rest and relaxation. Some of us are sprinters and some of us are marathoners in the way that we most are most efficient and effective at the work that we do. And so what I want to instead point out today for you is because you only have 24 hours, right? Is that there are there are two things. Two things in the universe, y'all. Two things. If we're getting really really meta, there's energy and there is structure for that energy. I'm going to say that again. There's energy, right? There's energy. And I mean physical vitality. We don't need to get like quantum physics on you, right? Like the energy of that. But what's up, Catherine? Good to see you, girl. But I'm speaking more specifically to the physical vitality and energy that we feel and then the structure that withholds, that holds that energy, okay? So here's the thing, guys. We need both. Nicholas Dewey, hello. Good to see you, brother. We need both. We need energy and we need structure in our work days, right? We need periods of excitement, of energy, of inspiration, of motivation, of play. And we also need structure. We also need times of like get it done focused energy, right? And this is the work that I do with people is helping them create a balance that works in their blueprint in your blueprint of how you are biologically designed, how your rhythms fit within that model, right? So it's not 50-50 because you're not the perfect human and I'm not the perfect human, right? We are perfect in the way that we are, but for some people that actually means that they need 20% structure and 80% play. And for some of us, we need 80% uh, play Whatever, the reverse of what I said the first time. <laughs> What's up, Ariel? Good to see you. I got distracted because I saw her name pop up. But here's the thing, guys, is that we really need a balance that works appropriately for us. What's up, Natalie? Good to see you, girl. So here's the thing is when we use stimulants or other like strong arming enhancements, like trying to fix our structure too rigidly or um, or trying to like keep a calendar that we like really rigidly fix to at all hours of the day. What's up, Nicole Perry? It actually takes us off and it pulls us. What's up, Nicholas? It pulls us off our biological rhythms and patterns that we are meant for, that you are meant for. It's missing one side of the equation, y'all. So we've tried to keep up with it like all the time. We're trying to by bypassing our unconscious needs and desires with, for some of us, it's stimulants, right? And it's escapism, right? It's like, what are the ways that I can push away my natural design? Or maybe people have told you that the way that you're designed isn't appropriate, that it's not cool, that it's not um, the way or the speed that they run at, right? Maybe you were told as a kid that you go too slow or that you're too lazy or that you just need to like be more decisive. Or maybe people told you that you needed to slow down, right? But here's the thing is that the way that you are built is just perfect. Just perfect the way that it is. And I'm not saying this to be like a preacher and be like, God made you perfect. But, the, but it's true. Like you are made perfect just the way that you are. And so what's most important, and this is why I help people in the Creative Warrior Collective, uh, is that we help find your design of how you are built and how you are most effective and efficient with your time and with your space. So uh, yeah, here's the thing, guys, is that eventually as we escape from our our natural design or we get pushed away from it or we block it or we knock it down is that eventually we turn off the faucet of information that's being given to us by our unconscious mind, including the information regarding our health, but also our, our intuition um, and also answers to the problems that we can't like consciously access, right? So then we have to do caffeine and we have to do like um, Pomodoro timers, if you know what I'm talking about, or nootropics or like there's so many high performance hack things. But the only reason that we need those things is because we're so far off of our natural way of being. 
And if you are a driven solopreneur, goodness gracious, like the only way you're going to survive is to sustainably find your natural rhythms and patterns and stick to them. Because anytime you get off of that design, you're just knocking the, the, the wheels off the track, right? And so what I'm excited to talk to you guys today about is that we have these meat suits for some evolutionary reason. I'm calling it a meat suit, this body that I have. And we don't know the answer to that, but as we bypass our bodies and unconscious desires, needs, rhythms, we lose out on feeling the experience of our life. We lose out on feeling, what's up, Corey? Good to see you, dude. We lose out on the experience of feeling our life, along with all the vital health information that we you know, can't always be tracked by like a fitness tracker or, or delegated to another human, right? It's like we need to, like, like we can know a thing, but without the embodiment of it, without the like, yes, that embodiment of it, we lose out on the felt clarity or the certainty of knowing that we have the right answer for us. And so again, as you guys have seen, and if you haven't seen my video on what a creative warrior is, go back and rewatch that. But essentially, a creative warrior is somebody who's heart-centered, who's building a business that is all about relationships, that truly loves humans, right? And it's just really wanting to help and service other humans. So if you are a service-based online provider in any capacity, I don't care if you're in internet marketing or if you're a coach or if you're um, a door-to-door -door salesman online, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Like that's what you need to do is you need to get in line with what your natural rhythms are. <laughs> Charlie King, Charlie King. Good to see you, dude. So guys, here's the thing. You need to find your natural rhythms. That's all I'm going to say is like however you are naturally built. And that's, again, what I help people do in the Creative Warrior Collective. And then we help you live that out. So the Creative Warrior Collective is a six-month container for you to be able to actually integrate your lifestyle dictated by your blueprint of how you are most productive, of how you find the most fun in your life, of how you get the most fulfillment. Yeah, Charlie's I got the rhythm. Yeah, that's true, man. You do got the rhythm, Charlie. I love it. Charlie, I would love to see you do a reaction video to this or like a, some kind of video where we get a little playoff from you because I know the way that you work best is to respond. So just saying, I think that would be really cool. So guys, here's the thing is that our bodies, and this is my last point, everyone, is that our bodies and minds really more than anything, they work like batteries or high performance cars. Now, again, we're all built slightly differently, but they're built like high performance cars. They're high maintenance, right? In a sense, it's like our bodies need to be fine tuned every day in order to truly give the most that we can in our impact and eventually to create that income based on that massive impact. So in order to make a massive impact and make a massive income in the way that I do, I have to be inspired, all the A's, right? Inspired, impact, income, right? I have to be inspired and so that's what I do. I spend a lot of time refueling, I spend a lot of time recharging, I spend a lot of time all the re's, right? Like coming back to Matthew because that is actually when I'm at my best and that is when I have the most time and space in a day. So with that, guys, that's all I got. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I will absolutely get back to them. Uh, I am here for you. And the Creative Warrior Collective gets started July 2nd. And I am so damn excited for you to be a part of it if you are a creative warrior and a driven solopreneur looking to get more time and energy out of your day. I'm freaking excited to rock and roll with you. So with that, shoot me a message. Shoot Shoot me a message. Super excited. Big hugs, guys. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Get your energy and your structure in the right balance for you. Talk to you soon. Peace.